Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the word Egli calls God, and His name in the Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, who the word Egli calls Jesus Christ, and His name in the Hebrew means He delivers. By Hashem is in the name of Kodash to the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the Shaakim. That's pushing forward in the truth. Throughout the four quarters of the earth, I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that look like the other nations and the Shaakwathim. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dawadai from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'm going to come back at it with another video. And I'm entitled this video are you walking after the spirit or in your lust all right so i got the definition of lust right here it says a very strong sexual desire all right and it's an example it says he knew that his lust for her had returned so his desire is sexual passion all right so you got a few other definitions i'm gonna read those also it says passionate desire for something and lust for power so greed desire craving eagerness keenness all right so it can mean a strong sexual desire or it can mean uh, you just want something real bad. Like you lust for power, lust for food or whatever it is that you uh, have a strong desire for. All right. And when you come to the truth, you realize that um, you basically have to uh, deny your flesh. All right. And you have to focus on the spirit. Now, every now and then, you have to please your flesh. Because if you just focus on the spirit just 100%, hey, you'll die. Because you are, you are a spiritual being in a fleshly body. All right? So let's go ahead and get the scriptures. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. And it reads, Remember now that I created in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, Know the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right, so you got to remember that creator in the days of our youth. All right? And now when you are young, in your teens, your 20s, early 30s, all right, um, you have uh, these strong fleshly desires, you know, especially if you're a man or a woman. You have a desire to be with a man or a woman. All right? Desire to have sex. Uh, desire to you know, travel, have fun, all right? But the Lord said, remember the Creator, because if um, you forget Him, because this world don't worship Yahweh by Shemiah or Shah the way how it's supposed to be, all right? This world don't give a damn about the Lord and the laws of the Bible. So hey, it's easy to get caught up in this uh, current world, you know, having uh, different... Uh, Unlawful sexual practices, threesomes, uh, practicing homosexuality, you know, and that's uh, big amongst Jake nowadays, especially you women, because you, uh, majority of you modern day women, y'all go both ways, all right? So, yeah. Uh, eating abominations. The Israelite favorite, the, Is the Israelite woman's favorite thing to eat is, is shrimp, all right? Verse 2. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark and the clouds return after the rain and a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is, is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low and right and we living in the time uh now where thoughts of music being brought low and the grind is ceasing because they we're on the verge of collapse all right so like what type of person are you supposed to be you know like i tell you in second peter the third chapter is supposed to be looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of the lord all right it's not the time to be trying to live your best life and all that especially when you see the sword coming Hey, because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he coming down with great wrath. All right? 
coming down with great wrath. So you got to stay focused. You know, you can't get caught up in chasing these women. You can't get caught up in... And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost because hey, it's a battle for your mind. All right? These um, people doing all types of things, you know, which is really uh, demons on these people that's trying to distract you from your purpose. And what is your purpose? Pushing the word. All right? Distract you from your purpose and aggravate you. All right. So we go over here to Second um, Timothy two and twenty two. Flee also you for lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. All right, so you got to flee useful us, right? Follow righteousness. So you got to follow what the word says. You know, you can't be like everybody else. Because, um, shit, we as men of the Lord, and including you women of the Lord too, the sisters that's following, um, we holy. And the word holy means separate. You know, we don't fit into this place. Because you got to separate yourself from these people and, and how they uh, operate. Because uh, you should want no parts of it. All right? And you got to be uh, confident in the words of the Lord because uh, that's what the Lord said. Because um, uh, many people going to shun you off. Why? Because you don't fit in with them. You're not a part of their uh, agenda. you different. And you got to embrace the friction. You see what I'm saying? You can't be trying to insert yourself into these uh, people's groups and all that. Because, look, you don't fit in, bro. So forget it. All right? It take more of a man or a woman to accept things the way how they are. And that's just the way how it is. So you got to accept it, adapt, and then live that way. Because I know I find myself uh, just recently figured it out. Uh, even this five years been in the truth, you know, I'm still a, technically a babe. And, um, yeah, you can't try to fit in with these people. You don't fit in. All right. You way more advanced than them. So why would you want to be around people that smoking weed or why would you want to be around people that's, um, trying to pop another man's woman? Or why would you, as a woman of the Lord, why would you want to be around Party bitches is uh, hopping from ride to ride to ride. You know? You got to put that off. This is James 1 and 12. And it reads, Blessed is the man that endured temptation... But when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. All right? So blessed is the man that endured temptation. All right. Because there's many different ways that the Lord, well, not the Lord, that Satan, that the Lord allows Satan to tempt you with. Because uh, the Lord don't tempt you himself. You know, that's the reason why he created Satan to tempt you. You know, that's the left-handed energy. Because he created a being outside of himself to do that you know because satan has to go to the lord in order to tempt you in order to get you to go off you see and verse 13 let no man say when he is tempted i am tempted of god for god cannot be tempted with evil neither tempted he any man but every man when he is tempted he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed then when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Right. So you know a woman got a man. All right. And you should you shouldn't even try to even talk to the bitch. All right. Just leave her alone. There's really nothing else for you to even say to her. You know, if you want to be cordial, that's fine. Like if y'all work in the same same building. You know, you want to be cordial or whatever, or shit, if you, if you ain't got to speak to her at all, you know? 
And shit, be careful with that too, because women like you more when you ignore them. All right? So just be careful. So, um, yeah. Well, you got some pork in front of you and you tempted. Um, which you should disdain pork, despise pork, but I'm just giving you an example. I'm just gonna know you're gonna fold and eat it. What you gonna do, bro? All right, you gotta make sure that you, uh, doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right, you gotta make sure you stay on point, especially in the last days, because it's not a, a lot of time here left. So, you gotta ask yourself, you gotta examine yourself, what the scripture says. To see if you really be in the faith. Matter of fact, let's get that. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. It reads, Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. But I trust that you should know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to God. That you do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that you should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates, right? So yeah, you got to examine yourself because, hey, you know if you've been doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right. You know if you're good at something or if you're lacking and you've been slipping. All right. You shouldn't have to have somebody to tell you that you know only if uh only if you don't know because that's the whole purpose of the brotherhood is is uh, us to rebuke and re uh, reprove each other you know through the spirit of power you how about you me i for you guys out there that don't like taking re rebuke that want to make excuses for your uh bullshit all right so you gotta um Take the rebuke too. So whatever somebody uh, bring to you, you know, you going off in the spirit, and a brother correct you, and hey, you gotta take it. I hey, ate hey, 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 the water, brother. You know, you you got you ultimately got to know the spirit of you. How about Shmuel? I'm sure, you ain't supposed to fight it and make excuses. Nah, that means that means you in the spirit of a reprobate. You like a bastard. You don't want to take correction from your father. And, and that brother that's telling you that that's through the spirit of Pai Yahab Asha Mi Asha. Romans 12 and 2. And it reads, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Right? So be not conformed in this world because you got to renew your mind. You know, when you come into this truth, that hey, you a new creature, you a new person, you a new man, a new woman. All right? You're not doing the same things that you was doing. You, know, you was rolling blunts, getting tattoos. You can't do that no more. You're committing adultery, you can't do that no more. You was hopping from ride to ride to ride. You can't do that no more. All right? So you're a whole new person because you got to renew your mind. And you got to, like I said before, you got to examine yourself. Like, what am I doing? You know, because even though you might not be, quote unquote, doing something wrong, like like something big, like getting tattoos or uh, smoking or whatever, hey, but you still... Like, it's like your personality is still a little off, you know? Hey, and that's going off, too, because you got to change your whole mind, your whole mind. Like, you got, like, little, cert certain little stupid ways about you that that offends brothers. You got you to gotta check that. You, you move in a certain way. It's not in the spirit. It's not in the spirit and power. You how much you mean? I saw you. You gotta check that. 
And if you don't check that, hey, the Lord still look at you as a bastard. It's Jude chapter uh, verse 17. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last days who shall walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual heaven, not the spirit. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of the most high looking for the mercy of our lord yahweh shall mashiach unto eternal life and of some have compassion making a difference and others save with fear pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment spotted by the flesh now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy to the wise god our savior be glory and majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Amen, right? So we're looking for the mercy of our Lord. You know, because hey, we know that uh, our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. So we're looking for his mercy. All right? And the Lord is able to keep you from falling. Hey, the Lord can justify you. All right? You know, like, here it is, like, somebody... You know, you had like one of those assholes out there to tell you, oh, well, brother, you got those mixed fabrics on, brother. Hey, but nigga, you don't even know the name of the Lord. You calling the Lord uh, Yeshua Hamashiach. Yahweh Yeshua Hamashiach. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yeshaya. Ahaya Bashim Yeshaya. Yeah, but you got, you are not 100% linen, but you ain't even calling the Lord by his uh, true name. You know, so the Lord can point the finger back at your ass. All right. Oh, and um, I got this scripture right here. Matthew 5 and 27 and it reads Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time Thou shalt not commit adultery But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her Have committed adultery with her in his heart already And if thy right eye of offend thee pluck it out and cast it from thee For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable unto thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell. Right. So um, I think he was an asshole out there. Of course, a damn devil, an Edomite. That was all like, uh, the Lord wants you to rip that motherfucker out of your head. You know, old redneck ass Edomite. And I just go to show you that Esau, Edom, man, he don't have the Rekakodash, the Holy Spirit. You know, and that's uh, metaphorically speaking. The Lord don't want you to rip out your own eye. All right? That means you just got to just, just cut it out. You know, it's a saying. You know, hey, hey, cut it out. You know, cut it off. All right? You know that, um, you know that, hey, it's a woman in there. Um... You know, a woman that has a man that you attracted to that like that like you too. You know that she gonna be somewhere. Hey, go somewhere else. You know, you got you gotta cut it off. You know, cause uh Joseph knew that when uh Potiphar's wife was uh coming to him, you know, uh day by day, hey, lie with me, lie with me. You know, he was avoiding her ass. Hey, she like, okay, she in there, I'm I'm gonna go somewhere else. You know, um, I'm, I'm not going to even go in there. I'm going uh, to try to change up my schedule so that way I don't have to I don't have to see this chick, you know. And, that, and that's how you got to do it. Verse 31. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him 
give her a right of divorcement. But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committed adultery. Right. So whosoever shall marry her. And that goes for all our uh, wives and ex-wives. All right. And even if you did put away a woman or whatever, every girl is age, she's supposed to remain unmarried. You know, she going to deal with another man, which most likely she will. Hey, she just committed adultery. You know, because if you ain't doing your do benevolence, then it's no reason for us to even be together. So like, what's the point? It's like a man that's um, that's in his truth is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. And the Lord kick your ass out. The Spirit of the Lord kick your ass out. And shit, if you continue, then yeah, you, you, you get brought back into the fold. If not, then shit. The Lord divorced your ass, then. I mean, shit, what you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna go and change up the doctrine? You got many examples of that. Uh, So-called brothers is changing up the doctrine. And are they teaching now? Absolutely not. They back into the world smoking, doing what they doing. You know, and, and uh, still thinking they in the truth. You know, because those demons got them bugged all the way out of their mind. All right. So, yeah, she got to remain unmarried unless she be reconciled back to her husband, you know. So, like, yeah, let's see if I can find this. Yeah, verse, uh. Verse 10, 1 Corinthians 7 and 10. Unto the Mary I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. But if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother have a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Right. So unless she be reconciled back to her husband. You know, and, and you got to live by that scripture, you know, because you're going to have, um, hey, believe it or not, brothers, you know, you had a bad breakup with a woman. I hey, believe it or not, hey, she might, might, shoot, might shoot you a text, might call you, or you got social media, she might hop in your DMs or whatever. So what you going to do? All right. Now you're just going to have to just ask her, you know, the spirit to reveal it. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah by Shemikah Hope this is edifying, and I want to say Shalom.